Has this thing been in any accidents? Nope. Any of the cars here hasn't really been wrecked. We don't, we don't buy stuff like that. Call 6 investigates with a hidden camera investigation tonight into a central Indiana car dealership's practices. An Indianapolis man says he bought a car and later learned it was unsafe to drive. He reached out to Call 6 investigates Kara Kenny. She has been digging into this for months and uncovered why it can be so difficult for car buyers to get the truth. All right, let's go look at cars. It's a chilly winter day as two RTV6 employees go undercover. Armed with hidden cameras, they head to Auto Nerd in Greenwood. They ask the salesman about four different vehicles, a Cadillac. This thing been in a wreck or anything, or do you know? No. Okay. A Volkswagen Rabbit. This thing been in any accidents, or? No. That's not? No. Okay. A Ford Focus. This thing been in any accidents? No. Any of the cars here hasn't really been wrecked. We don't, we don't buy stuff like that. And a Volkswagen Passat. Just because I have to ask, this one has not been an accident either? Nope. Okay. What this salesman didn't know is that Call 6 Investigates ran the vehicle identification numbers beforehand. Carfax reports show all four had prior damage from crashes, rear end damage, front and left side damage, and right front damage, something you might want to know about before buying a car. And the Rabbit, it also has an open recall, a problem with the vehicle's anti-lock brake system that can cause the vehicle to lose control. But the salesman didn't seem to know anything about it. Any recalls on this or anything? Uh, no. Do you guys check um, recalls and stuff before you put them out? Yeah. Or do you? Okay. Yep. Sure do. All right. Brian Murphy bought a 2004 Chevy Colorado from Auto Nerd in Greenwood. So I was looking for like an, a used truck that was uh, in, reliable, nothing too fancy. He took it for a test drive and ran a Carfax report before buying the vehicle. It ran fine. Uh, when I talked to the uh, dealer there, he said that he'd been driving the car around for a few weeks, running for errands, and it was a super reliable vehicle. Six weeks later, Brian took his truck for an oil change. Uh, the technician comes back to me and says they can't rotate the tires because if they were to put it up on jacks, the rear axle would fall right out of the truck and that the vehicle was completely unsafe to drive. What was your reaction? I was pretty shocked and upset. The underside of the truck completely rusted out. Brian took the vehicle to a collision place who confirmed the vehicle was unsafe to drive and that it would cost nearly $8,000 to rebuild the frame. Which would be more than the vehicle's worth. Brian says Auto Nerd wouldn't help him with a repair or refund. He had bought the car as is. So he filed a complaint with the Indiana Attorney General's office. Documents they sent Brian show Auto Nerd bought the car in May 2019 from auction with structural damage listed on the purchasing documents. What did you think when you saw that? Oh, I was pretty angry. Um, Attorney Andrew yeah. Alt reviewed yeah. Brian's yeah. case. Yeah. He specializes in car dealership practices. Cars don't just rust out completely to the point where you could die driving it. Uh, for no reason. Alt says dealers have to follow the Indiana Deceptive Consumer Sales Act and should tell a consumer about safety problems. So the deceptive act was to not disclose that this is a potentially unsafe vehicle with structural damage. And if AutoNerd is regularly selling vehicles that have structural damages without disclosure, that's a deceptive act and it could have some bearing on the license of the, of the dealer. Dealers who are deceptive can lose their license to do business in Indiana. AutoNerd has two locations and of the 49 complaints filed about them with the Attorney General in the last three years, 27% were for unsafe or defective products. Auto Nerd has paid more than $10,000 in fines since 2018 after the Indiana Secretary of State cited them for violations like failure to deliver titles, failure to produce records, and misuse of dealer plates. The Better Business Bureau's profile for Auto Nerd shows the company has a pattern of complaints, including making misleading representations about the safety of vehicles and not responding in a timely manner to complaints. We reached out to Auto Nerd and offered to show them this hidden camera video. A manager declined, telling us, I can't begin to understand why any of our employees would suggest we don't sell any vehicles which have been involved in an accident. Our training instructs our sales staff to direct potential customers 
customers to the Carfax History Report on any and all questions related to the history of a vehicle. Auto Nerd also pointed us to their website, which shows some of the cars include links to Carfax reports free of charge. The treatment of our customers and the integrity of our staff are two areas of business we take very seriously. Only after Call 6 Investigates started asking Auto Nerd questions about Brian's case, did the dealer apologize and offer a refund. Brian wishes he had gotten that response from the get go. I do consider myself pretty lucky that there wasn't an accident, considering how severe the damage was. Sort of negligent to not tell people about a potential safety issue, a very serious safety issue with the vehicle when you're selling it to someone. This thing been any accidents or no? Experts say this hidden camera video is proof you should not rely on verbal promises. Get everything in writing and read it before you sign on the dotted line. I'm Call 6 Investigates, Kara Kenny. Well, the Indiana Attorney General's Office investigated Brian's complaint but did not find any violation against Auto Nerd. The AG's office told us, quote, there was no conduct that was actionable within the authority of the Office of the Indiana Attorney General, and it is the duty of the consumer to inspect the vehicle for any defects that may be present on the vehicle at the time of sale, end quote. You can read the full statements from the Attorney General and Auto Nerd on the RTV6 app and at our website, theindychannel.com.